Hello and welcome. So today we are going to learn how to extract any website's data into Airtable using ParseHub via Data Fetcher. So ParseHub is this incredible free web scraper that is really easy to use. They have amazing tutorials on their downloadable app. And once you download that app, you will have the following screen. It's super easy. You can genuinely learn how to scrape data in a matter of minutes. And so this is a project I've already done. As you can see, you have the options. I've selected what I'd like to include and scrape. And you can actually select those in different paragraphs. So as you can see, everything relates to what they go by. And I was able to scrape all 101 of the best things to do in London, really nice and simply. Then once you do that, you can press on the get data button and immediately this runs your project. So we just press run and it'll only take a matter of seconds and then you can download your data. But today we are going to bring that information through to Airtable. So once you arrive to your Airtable base, you can select apps in the top right hand corner and then press add an app. Once this page loads up, you can search for data fetcher in the search bar, press add when that appears, and then press add app. Now you'll be brought to a screen where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can continue with Google. Then you'll arrive to the page where you can import your data simply by selecting create your first request. So this big blue button, click on that. And now we want to add a name to this request. So just up here, title it and then select the application searching for ParseHub. So once you've clicked on that, you will see that you need an API key for your ParseHub account under authorization. So you can find that simply by clicking on the click here button and that opens you up directly to your API key, which you can copy and paste back into this input. Once you've pasted it, select the endpoint as import data from a project's latest run and click save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now you'll be able to choose the project, which as you can see, it's got my timeout project in there. And you'll also be able to select the output table and view so you can decide on your preferences. Then you'll want to click on save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Now you'll be brought through to the response field mapping. And this is where you can bring through your fields from your parse hub. So as you can see, I actually only have the fields that I've created. So it's likely you'll be the same. But if you do want to turn these off, you just switch the green toggle to gray, or you can select filter all to turn them all off and then switch on the ones that you would like to bring in. Now, if you have loads of fields to choose from, you can search in this bar. As you can see, Y brings up title Y, and then you can press save and run. Now this is creating those fields that we're bringing through to Airtable. It only takes a few seconds and then we press show output table. Now this will load up and as you can see, all of that data has already come through. It's really fantastic. So now over to the right hand side, you can see that we have all of the options and settings that we've selected for this particular request. We can then go ahead and add more options by clicking on the full screen button. This just makes it a little bit easier. It opens it out for you again. And down at the bottom, you can see this schedule this request option. Now you'll only be able to see this option if you do already have a paid data fetcher account. So once you do that, you can come back to this step and you will see this appear like so, where you can turn this gray toggle to green. And this will allow you to automatically synchronize your records between parse hub and air table. So as you can see, I've selected every day of the week between nine and six, and this synchronization will automatically happen every 15 minutes, which is amazing. We can simply press save down in the bottom right hand corner and then close the window. So hopefully today you've learned how to extract any website's data into Airtable using ParseHub via Data Fetcher. We do have links to ParseHub tutorials in the video description, so check those out. And we do also have a blog that covers all of this in full detail as well. But if you do have any further questions, you can simply reach out to us here at Data Fetcher and we'll be so happy to help. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a really great day.